He was 10 years old when he started his collection. His basement is full of license plates from all over the world and several countries. The retired chemistry teacher turned his hobby into an exhibition. Hedy Clotter has the story. Calvin Tormanen started collecting license plates when he was 10 years old. His collection has grown to more than 2,000 plates. There were license plates in the garage, machine sheds, and greeneries, and I thought, well, they look interesting. It wasn't until he met a fellow collector who gifted him 20 plates from different states. That moment sparked his interest. The year was 1956. Collectors would, would um, give me plates, they'd sell me plates, I'd go to flea markets. And now, of course, if you collect plates, you can get them on eBay. But I don't, I don't do eBay for license plates, no. I did it the old-fashioned way. The license plates come from the 50 states and Canadian provinces. Tormanen eventually found a license plates club and has won several awards for his collection. I look for plates that are very inexpensive, anywhere from like under $5. And most of my plates were obtained that way. So I don't go in for the real old plates that cost hundreds of dollars. That's not my interest. His favorite plates are the colorful ones, like this one from Wyoming with the bucking bronco, or this one from Massachusetts with the Spirit of America slogan. All things must come to an end. Tormenten stopped collecting plates in 1999. Once I, I achieved my goal of the 20th century was ending, it was a good time to stop the runs. Each board can hold up to 48 plates. The plates are organized by year and by state. It's a hobby for him, but he appreciates the art of license plates. I can't help but look at my license plates when I'm going to go watch a TV program or get on my computer. So, but sometimes I just sit here and look at them and enjoy them. There are many plates that Tormenten doesn't have, but he says he can live with it. In Park Rapids, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Tormenten obtained Canadian plates from meets he went to when he lived in Michigan, and the foreign plates came from people who visited the country. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.